Coming up on Panther Sports, women's volleyball team travels to Arizona while the HPU guys get their chance at the net with a new club team. We find out what former baseball coach here at High Point, Daniel Latham, is up to, and we ask students what they know about the equestrian team. This weekend, the HPU women's volleyball team played in the ASU Sheridan Invitational. It was a homecoming of sorts for four Panthers, all who hail from the Grand Canyon State, one of which is Adi Gonzalez, who is back on the court after a year on the bench. Skylar Heyman tells us why. Gonzalez nicknamed the Hammer for her crushing spikes, tenacious defense, and extraordinary leadership both on and off the court caught the attention of players and coaches over her first year here at High Point University. I got a chance to interview Gonzalez as she reminisces the first year she had at High Point. I think I developed a little more confidence being a freshman. I was just, okay, I'm just going to go out there and do whatever I can to help the team out. And then, you know, that whole year of playing, I got experience, I got comfortable. Of course, you're going to be nervous, but you get that year under your belt. And, you know, I just developed more confidence out there and confidence she developed as each year she continued to rack up the awards, including best all around in the Big South Conference, named to the all-tournament team, and has been named to the first team all-conference two years in a row. High Point and their fans look forward to Gonzalez's senior year, but it took a turn for the worst, with a knee injury causing her to be sidelined for her entire senior year. Well, um, it was our last spring tournament, and I didn't do anything different and I just went to transition off the net and next thing you know I felt just like my knee like turn or something it just felt completely uncomfortable and I was just like kind of freaked out because I've never had a real serious injury. As her teammates helped her off the court trainers diagnosed her knee and with no excruciating pain Gonzalez got back on the court without knowing the severity of the injury. This like little turn like this to go past the ball and next thing you know I like felt a pop. That pop was her ACL. While we tour the athletic training room, she remembers her training and her plans for a speedy recovery, while she is forced to think about losing the sport she loves. It's kind of really sad. As soon as we found out it was my ACL, I started rehabbing. Uh, they wanted me to get my leg as strong as possible, so then recovery would be faster. During her senior year, instead of heading towards the locker room, Gonzalez headed towards physical therapy. So I was pretty much in the gym. This area for four hours every day. It was real frustrating. Um, my biggest motivation was, you know, it's going to be my senior year. I'm going to want to, I want to play and I'm not going to let this injury get in my way. You know, I was a brand new coach. I didn't know his coaching style, you know, if he's going to let me come back and play, if he's going to let me stay or anything like that. So I was real nervous about that. It was during this time, Gonzalez decided to come back to High Point for her fifth year to play volleyball. High Point and their fans speculated whether the injury would prevent Gonzalez from being her best, but it didn't. I feel like I came here to play volleyball and I wanted to finish here playing volleyball. You know, it's awesome I got my degree, but my main focus and my main love and passion is volleyball. Gonzalez graduated from High Point University last year with a bachelor's degree in exercise science. This year, she continues her studies minoring in athletic coaching. The fans are thrilled to have Audie Gonzalez back on the court, playing the sport she loves most, volleyball. This is Skylar Heyman reporting for HPU Sports. High Point University Athletics is proud to introduce the first men's Panther club volleyball team. With the first major tournament on the horizon, the Panthers men's club volleyball team is constantly practicing and preparing for this event. Nicola Marca has the story. Skylar Heyman came to High Point with one major goal, to play volleyball better than he did in high school. But during my high school, my coach was never that good, and our team always had a lot of potential, and we really never fulfilled the potential. So I kind of wanted to take it into my own hands that, you know, the next volleyball team I played on here would fulfill the entire potential we had. 
But Heyman found that HPU's opportunities for a men's volleyball team were limited. So Heyman teamed up with friend and volleyball player Adam Keelan and formed High Point's first men's club volleyball team. Myself and my buddy Adam Keelan uh, decided freshman year that we wanted to start the club volleyball team because there was no volleyball at all here. Um, being the only two kids that really were into volleyball, it was kind of up to us to do it. Coach Heyman's past volleyball experience and knowledge makes him a great coach for the many new volleyball players. Yeah, our team is uh, very committed. That's really the most important part. I mean, most of the time we don't get kids that have played volleyball before because volleyball is a pretty new sport to men. So the kids who uh, are committed really help the program more than anything. Uh, we have some really talented and athletic kids as well that if they continue to stick with the sport, we should be very good this year and the upcoming year, my senior year. With a roster of 12, the HPU men's club volleyball team is working relentlessly to prepare for their first big tournament next month. Teams including UNC Chapel Hill and NC State are expected to come. Hopefully that goes great as well, so we can continue to get our name out there in the state of North Carolina and uh, compete with other quality teams around our area. The High Point University men's club volleyball team will continue to work hard and practice consistently to prepare for their upcoming tournament. As High Point University's equestrian team begins their first season of team competition this fall, it's time to spread the word. But how many people actually know about this newly formed team? HPU's very own Andrew Savaris saddles up for this week's edition of Prowling Around. Hi there, folks. I'm Andrew Savaris, here with another edition of Prowling Around. With High Point University's equestrian team beginning its first season this fall, we thought we'd come here to the lovely Flame Center to find out what the students really know about the school's equestrian team. Did you know our school has an equestrian team? I've heard it before, yes. I did, actually, yeah. Is it intercollegiate or...? No, I did not know that. I had no idea. I, I have heard, as of recent, that we do have an equestrian team, yes. Yes, I do. How'd you hear that? Um, I know one of the riders. One of the riders? So you, you know one of my fellow compadres? I did not know that. <laughs> we have an uh, equestrian team? You haven't know the definition of equestrianism? Ah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's the sport of horse racing or her horse showing. Something about horses or fencing like that. <laughs> fencing? You talking about sword fighting? Equestrianism. Equestrianism. Do you happen to know how many uh, different equestrian events are held at the Olympic Games every four years? Six. I don't know, four? Seven. Five. I guess like three. Bingo! Pow! Do you happen to know uh, what styles of horseback riding that our school happens to compete in? No. Uh, jumping and polo. The rodeo and hog tie. Uh, the Kentucky Derby. Okay, well it's actually the hunt seat and western. Gotcha. Oh. Okay, here's what we're gonna do, okay? I want you to show me how you would mount a horse, okay? What's your horse's name? Um, Charles. That's a big pony. Um, Rooney. <laughs> uh, goat. Give, give me a lasso. We gotta rope, we gotta rope the cattle. Rope the cattle. Rope the cattle. That's right, that's right. Let's go, let's go. I like that style. Rooney, like the, the principal from Ferris Bueller? Sure. All right, Rooney. All right, now can you give me a good yee-haw? Yee-haw! I get a yee-haw. Yee-haw! That's right, that's right, cowgirls. You girls ever date a boy who look this good? Pow! Yeah. Let's rope up the cattle. Yee-haw! 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 <laughs> well, if we learned one thing today, so our students don't know anything about the equestrian team. So let this be a lesson to all of you out there. Let's go out and support these fellas and these ladies, okay? We gotta support our pals. This has been another fine edition of Prowling Around. I wanna thank you all for joining me here today. Now let's saddle up. Giddy up! Yeah! This horse ain't going nowhere. What's going on here? 
Something wrong with these stirrups. I don't know what's going on. Well, that's all for Panther Sports. For all of us here at High Point University, I'm Matt Perry reminding you, play hard, play safe, and play to win.